not a licensed financial advisor to be giving any type of financial advice. Uh, I share information for educational training and entertainment purposes only. And it is up to you to make your own informed, intelligent decision on which direction you want to go into. Any income directly implied or indirectly is not a guarantee of what you can do. The money you make here is going to be based on your hard work and your efforts and what you do. But here's the first trailer I saw of this opportunity. Now, when I saw that, I said, whoa, what is that? Like I said, I've been a gamer all my life. But playing games, I got started with Atari and ColecoVision that my grandpa got me in the 70s. But are we still playing Atari and ColecoVision today? No. When new technology comes out, gamers move to the new technology. We went to Nintendo and then Sega Genesis, NES, PlayStations 1 through 5, Xbox, also uh, PC, and then the most, the, you know, the number one platform where most games is being played around the world is? It's your cell phone. Your cell phone. Mobile games is the most popular form of gaming right now where you have the most amount of people, no matter your background, who you are. My grandmother was, was messing around with mobile games in her 90s. Mobile games. But right now, where the money is being generated, is in games that we call Web 2.0. 2.0 gaming, games like Fortnite, Final Fantasy, Roblox. Now, you might say to yourself, well, Brandon, I don't, I don't play games. I guess this is not for me. No, 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 no. Stick around, because this is for you. The gaming side is the product. And the product is proof of work of the technology. What Starvara is really about is not the game. It's the technology, which I'm going to hit in a second. But let's talk about the product. Because anytime I'm introduced with a networking opportunity, I ask a question. If there was no networking opportunity, would people buy the product? For most companies, the answer is no. Their number one customers are the affiliates. And if the affiliates are not buying the product, the company will not exist. In the United States, we even have a law where you have to have a two-to-one customer to rep ratio. In this case, this is not a network marketing company that looked for a product. It was a product first that added the networking side to start to get the word out through word of mouth. They're not a network marketing company first. And when we talk about a product that you say you may not play, but your children or your grandchildren are playing these games, and it's a freemium model, which means there's no cost to play. More than 774 million players per month is actually closer to a billion players every single month of playing Web 2.0 games, meaning it's on the internet. It's streamed. You're able to connect with other players and not just a computer. But the next evolution of gaming is now going to move from Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. What is that? That is blockchain technology. That is now taking your gaming to a 3D environment where you own your content. My son comes to me all the time with money that he wants to use to pay for his games. But the question is, are you actually making any money? <laughs> no. Are you owning the content? No, you don't own it. But in Web 3.0, what if I told you you can own your digital assets in the form of NFTs? What if I told you that you can on-ramp with fiat money and off-ramp using the blockchain technology? Well, we are taking advantage of something called the multiverse or metaverse. 
which is an intersection of MMO gaming and blockchain technology. What does that mean, MMO gaming? That means massively multiplayer online gaming, where you're not just playing with you and another person or you and the computer. You're in a world with dozens, hundreds, if not thousands of people at the same time, where the game never stops. It never ends. It never sleeps. When my wife comes into the room to want to talk and she don't care if I'm playing a game, she says, pause it. You can't pause this game. If you've ever seen the movie Ready Player One, you understand what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, I strongly urge you to take a look at that movie. You're looking at the future of not just gaming, but of socializing, of entertainment, of how we experience the World Wide Web. It is a 3D version of the current internet that you know today. We want to empower people to connect the virtual and real worlds. The metaverse is going to be as big, if not bigger, than the internet, says CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney. Hold on. It's as big. Is the internet big? See, I just turned 47 years old, and I remember a world where there was no internet. But turn off Wi-Fi in my house for five minutes, and everything goes to, goes, goes to hell. We can't survive without the internet. But this is going to be bigger than the internet. The solution that we bring is bringing the future of economic freedom where we have interoperable, immutable ownership of digital assets enabled by gamification. You see, with Web 2.0 gaming, how they're making all their money is through something called cosmetics. What is that? Well, you already experience it right now. If you think of your favorite entertainers and artists, you look at Rihanna, the Olsen twins, Kanye West, the Kardashians, even Michael Jordan. They didn't make the majority of their money off of their craft, singing and playing basketball and acting. No, they made their, most of their money selling cosmetics, shoes, clothing, makeup. That's a huge industry. And the banks have figured out that with the metaverse, with people having the ability to own their own digital assets, that digital assets are going to become more valuable than real world assets. In fact, JP Morgan Chase has already predicted that the whole metaverse economy will be anywhere between a five to $13 trillion economy in the next five years. When we look at the current games in 2.0 that are making their money off of cosmetics, we got World of Warcraft that has already made more than $24 billion. The average player is spending anywhere between $20 to $600, not just yearly, but also monthly. I didn't even realize my son had me set up for him a monthly auto ship of $10 for, for, for Fortnite, and he's still asking for money for more stuff. And what is he buying? Clothing, dance moves. He just got the latest dance move from Nigeria. In fact, these kids, I say it all the time, they're, they're learning music and they're learning dance moves from these video games. When I grew up, we learned it from Soul Train, Yo! MTV Raps, and BET. But they're learning it from TikTok and, and playing video games. But they're spending money every single month. What if you can get a piece of that? I'm not talking about you playing the game. I'm talking about you getting a piece of what other people are doing. More than a billion people. You see, in-game cosmetics are pieces of equipment that can be used to customize a player's appearance in the game. They can be used to change various aspects of their character, such as their hair, skin, and clothing. My 15-year-old son, Donovan Ivy, said, if you look into the social aspect of it, the game, Cosmetics are pretty much what brings life and brings people's real thoughts about their personality into the game. Now, is there a demand for this? There is definitely a demand for especially the next generation of MMOs because the last one that came out was in 2014, Final Fantasy. That's the last one to come out. So when this one drops, what do you think the industry is going to do? At, at worst, all eyes will be on it. At worst. VARA is poised to take the market by storm. How? By innovating the current MMO model, where you're going to have full player ownership of their in-game assets, 
All in-game assets and items can be tokenized on layer two blockchain. What did we just talk about in Inner Circle Crypto Talk this morning, guys? Tokenize, tokenization. I even, I even wrote down here that they are already talking about tokenizing these assets is going to be a $13 trillion industry. $13 trillion. What about games as a service? Infinitely expanding game universe. You will never be able to experience the entire thing that this world has to offer. But you'll have the ability to create and earn. Truly scalable through our byte streaming technology. The market position is the fact that Web 3.0, gaming, and metaverse combined is projected to be in five years a 12 plus trillion dollar industry. VAR is not only forging a new sector within gaming, but is also poised at the intersection of the Web 3.0 and metaverse markets. Three titanic industries that have all shown explosive year on year growth. VAR is pioneering the multiverse industry. I remember when I first came into direct sales and we were excited. This is a $2 billion industry and we were excited. What about a multi-trillion dollar industry? And what's making all this possible is the technology. You see, the game is what got me to be a part of the project. The technology is what got me out of retirement to want to build this project. I hope you understand that difference. But the technology is everything. And instead of me telling you about this technology of Dark Fusion, why don't I have you listen to what our CEO, Mr. Greg Stevens, has to say about it? Today, we are thrilled to introduce Dark Fusion, the result of years of dedication and collaboration between myself and the brilliant team led by Dominic Boykovitz, co-founder of Dark Fusion Technologies. Dark Fusion is our solution to the fundamental flaws of traditional blockchains and it will revolutionize the gaming, fintech, and traditional blockchain services industries. With Dark Fusion, we have addressed the inherent flaws of layer one blockchains. These traditional blockchains often face compliance challenges, scalability limitations, and issues with speed and cost. However, we have developed a proprietary smart contract language and protocol that empowers us to overcome these obstacles. This remarkable accomplishment sets us apart as one of the industry pioneers, possibly the first, to successfully tokenize assets on layer two. So what does this mean for gaming, fintech, and traditional blockchain services? It means a paradigm shift in how these industries operate. In gaming, we are empowering users to tokenize their in-game assets, granting them true ownership and the ability to unlock their value. In the financial industries, we're pioneering as the first decentralized layer to exchange, providing lightning fast, secure, and cost-effective transactions. And in traditional blockchain services, we are setting up a new standard by creating a new blockchain standard with Web5. But here's the most exciting part. We want you, our community, to be a part of this ground breaking journey, we're inviting you, our VARA ambassadors, to the official case study, working hand in hand with us to shape and realize this vision. Together, we will build an ecosystem that drives innovation, fosters collaboration, and sets the new standard for blockchain technology. Thank you for your support and get ready to embark on this remarkable journey with us. Now, what is our unique differentiator with this technology? One of the main things is the fact that we have a 98.72% reduction in server costs, which means businesses will want to use this technology just to save money on that alone. The average user of Netflix for one cost of one user is 341 users using Dark Fusion technology that we have in Starvara. Starvara is just the proof of work of the technology. And this technology will be available for other businesses who also want to tokenize themselves, brand themselves, and also do business on the Bitcoin Layer 2 network, which means those of us that are VAR ambassadors, especially those that have access keys, 
are going to benefit from the business outside of Starvara alone. That's why I said this is far bigger than a game. They are building themselves to become the steam of the crypto space. And steam is a gaming term. You can look that up to see what is steam for gamers. Now, we also have something called the Vara Ambassador Portal. This is where everything is going to be built around. This portal gives you access to the gaming world while you're online. And even when you're not online, looks something like this. Game portal, games as a service, blockchain as a service, finance as a service. It revolutionizes the way users play and earn through its walled garden and crypto off-ramp, solving problems with traditional gamers accessing crypto, in-game trading, marketplaces, and exchanges, financial application for in-game grind and generating on-chain assets, tools that allow all participants, gamers, traders, and speculators to connect live. Take a look at this video of our ambassador portal. See, if you guys are familiar with PlayStation, PlayStation has something similar called the PlayStation app that tracks all the games you play. You see, I play NBA 2K. My son plays Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto, Jedi. So those are what my sons play and I play. This tracks all of the games that you play. So will our ambassador portal. So with our portal, I'll be able to look at our inventory uh, that I have there of things that I'm collecting inside of the game. I can look at all of my assets. And I can also view my business and my network. I can even pull up how my network is doing. What's going on with the business? We have the Ambassador Portal becomes an extension of the playing experience, a live link to the game. Added layer of game immersion as the Ambassador Portal unites the game and the crypto layer. We have layer two technology, expansive MMO universe, character creator. Bike streaming technology. And Mr. Bolte, the answer is yes. So you get back to the person who invited you and they can give you that PDF file. Then we've got modern back office with team management and commissions, promotional tools, learning systems, DeFi wallet, and an e-commerce marketplace for digital assets. Now coming in the future, this also got my attention, is how would you like to have the ability to host meetings workshops, entertainment, and much more in the networking open world. Now, as I stated, I own my own company. We do crypto talks every morning. I have classes in the evening that I teach on my courses, and I do a once a month, five-day Bitcoin boot camp. This week is that time, and we do it all through Zoom. So we're looking at each other like we are right now. And then I thought, wait a minute, what if I three... Metaverse. What if I do it in Starvara and I'd host my meetings there? What if you are an artist or you have your own business where you meet with meet with clients and other people or you're a healer, you have workshops and you do it in the Starvara world? See, you might think, well, I don't want to play the game. Let me tell you what the biggest, most popular part of this world is going to be. It's going to have nothing to do with the game itself. It's going to have to do with socializing. The ability to meet and hang out with your friends all over the world, doing everything but gaming <laughs> in a social environment. Now, how do we access this world? Well, you might think, do I need a powerful PC gaming rig to be able to play? You can if you want to, but you can also access this world, access this world with VR headsets, metaverse style, 
or with PlayStation or Nintendo Switch or Xbox. But you might still say, well, Brandy, you know, that's still really gamey stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't have all that. Do you have a cell phone? If you have a cell phone, then you can access this game. All you need is a cell phone. And we are launching on our next phase in just a couple of weeks, our mobile first. We're going to be having our first battle royale in the, the Starvara, where you're going to be able to run around the space station, create your, your avatar, socialize with other players, and <laughs> that's coming up. So everybody's got a phone. That's why we did the mobile phone first. But even better, because of the technology, you'll be able to access the world on your mobile device and still interact with the people who are accessing the same world on their PlayStation, PC, virtual reality at the same time. So you're not left behind. With this game design, people say, well, is this a game that people will continue to play? When was the last time that Grand Theft Auto launched a new game? It's been almost 10 years. The last MMO that came out was 2014, and people are still playing those games. To max out all your skills in this world will require 7,000 hours. That's 291 days of consecutive play. It's going to take you years to do that. There's going to be so many worlds that it's almost impossible for you to visit all of them. There's six classes with 80 abilities. And for those who say, well, I don't want to PvP and fight and shoot them up and all that stuff, 26 non-combat skills with over 1,400 assets, which means when you start creating your character, there's more than 2.1 billion different designs where it's almost impossible for two players to look exactly alike unless you purposely design it that way. We have 48 handcrafted spaceships. Let me give you a sneak peek at this. Take a look. All right, now we want to remove the barrier of entry. So even though it's a freemium game to play, just like in Fortnite, Fortnite has something called V-Bucks that you can use real money to purchase V-Bucks and then use V-Bucks to get items in the game. Roblox has something called Robux. Well, for Vara, we have something called Bonds. For $6.99, you can have an infinite supply of these. And how would you like to be able to earn a percentage of every bond transaction? The company is setting aside 30%, oh, I'm sorry, 33% of all of the bond transactions is set aside for all of the access key holders. Huh. And then what's making this ecosystem work to have crypto on and off ramp is we have a token that's an in-game token for this world called the VARA token. The only way you can get your hands on these limited VARA tokens right now is by being a VARA ambassador and purchasing a pack with the tokens and this limited, limited supply. Now, who are the founders of this company? We have more than 20 plus core team members. And this is not just a bunch of nameless, faceless people that you've never heard of or seen from before. The office they operate out of is a South, one of them is South Africa. They're not in Dubai, that you don't know who they are, but let me show you who they are instead of telling you. Hi, I'm Mike Saunders. I'm the CTO. I'm a 3D game artist. Manager of customer support. I am social media manager. I'm the head of web development. Uh, I'm a senior developer. 
I'm a senior graphic designer. I'm the game writer. I'm a 3D designer and a video editor. I am chief game architect. I am the head of support. I am the game art lead. I am a 3D artist. Senior art director and designer. My role is head of games development. I'm a 3D designer and a video editor. A game developer. I'm a junior game dev. At its core, um, what we're doing, whether it's game dev, blockchain work, or in the web space, um, really embraces the notion of open source and collaboration. I enjoy the company culture. I, I think it's an awesome team, very talented team. I, I count myself privileged to be a part of this team. It lifts me up every day to come to work. I really enjoy being here and being part of what we're doing. Uh, it's really an exciting part of my, my day today. I love my colleagues. We have a lot of coffee out of new coffee, so whatever. <laughs> I get to come to work, come up with crypto tools, you know, build smart contracts, make video games, you know, it really is a dream job. Every day we are constantly trying to innovate and do the most exciting thing possible. I get given challenges every day and how to solve that is always fun. There's definitely a groundswell um, of excitement around what we're building. The Star of our universe is going to seemingly be endless and what better place could a writer want to be than in this position right now. I'm never going back, that's for sure. This is, this is where I belong. All right, now we have a special promo going on right now. Remember I said, how would you like to get a percentage of all the bonds that's going to be pay, pay, bought for in the gaming world? Well, we can. We have an access key that acts that is the basically the foundation of this world. Some people call them nodes, but it's an access key. There's only going to be 25,000 of them. Those access keys are going to be used to, to validate all of the transactions that's taking place. And the only ability availability for you to stake tokens is if you have an access key. Well, we have a special. The access keys right now are for $3,000. In this promo, for $3,500, for $500 more, you're not only going to get an access key, but you're also going to get 20,000 VARA game tokens. This promotion will end at midnight South African time on Friday. You want to have as many access keys and VARA tokens as you possibly can. There's only going to be 1.1 billion VARA tokens. And once you read the white paper of this, you'll see that they're going to be happening on a burning rate as well, which means every time they burn the tokens, the more you have, the, the higher the value of it rises. So you have two days left to get your hands on this access key. In fact, as soon as we're done here, I'm buying another Stargate pack. Now, other packs that we have is the ability to sign up for free. Yeah, you can roam around for free, take a look at it, what it's all about, but that's not why we're here. We're in pre-launch because we're looking for people who want to help build this and make a whole lot of money at the same time. So you can start off with a moon pack, planet pack, or solar pack for $100, $400, or $1,000. With these packs, you're going to get original cosmetics, spaceship skin, drop vaults, and additional VARA game tokens. And that also is for limited time only. If you just want the access key for itself, it's a one-off price for $3,000 if you just want to have it. Now, the question you might ask yourself is, can I do this? Can I do this? I'm not a gamer, Brandon. I'm not a networker. I, I don't understand crypto. That's fine. You don't need to be any of those. No experience required. High-quality company videos affordable entry levels, a simple and duplicatable system. This just happens to be my passion. But if you don't know any of these, that's okay. Only thing you need to know and understand is that every bank in the world is positioning themselves for this industry. Every person on the planet, whether they like it or not, is going to be in blockchain technology directly or indirectly. More than a billion players are entering this space as far as gamers and they're spending money every single day. How would you like to get a piece of it at the end of the day? For those people who will say, well, Brandon, do I have to share, recruit to make money? No, 
For those who say, well, Brandon, do I have to play the game to make money? No, you can do it passively. Get yourself an access key and earn passive income on a monthly and yearly basis. So there's something for everybody where you decide to fit in. If this is not for you, that's okay. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule. We appreciate it. I understand the value of time. My time is very precious. But for those of you who want to get involved, then the sky is the limit. Stick around because I'm going to play a short two-minute video, and then we're going to. This is the, where the presentation ends, and I'm going to go into fast start training to show you how to get started and a couple of strategies. So thank you guys for being here tonight. My name is Brandon Ivy. I'll see you all in about two minutes for the Fast Start Training. All right, all right. So the formal presentation side is over, and now we're moving into the training side. I want to make that distinction because in the training side, I'm going to show a little bit of the compensation plan. So it has nothing. It's, it's not a presentation side anymore. So fast start training. First step, you got to get started. Choose the pack. If you ask me for the best place you want to get positioned, it's the Stargate pack. That's that's where you want. But if you can't afford it. Does that mean you're going to completely lose out? No. No, you're not. Because there's always going to be some new promotions that's going to come down. I don't know what the next one's going to be. But if you can't afford it, then go ahead and try start off with the, one of the other packs. You definitely want to get a solar pack. That's a must. Even if you have the Stargate pack, you got to get a solar pack. So then we've got the moon pack and the planet pack for $100 and $400 and $1,000. If you start off at the moon pack, can you upgrade later? Yes, you can. And you upgrade by paying the difference. So if the, you got the moon pack for 100 planet pack for $400, you just pay the difference of 300 to get to the planet pack and you keep moving forward. For those of you who want to get paid and make money right now, has anybody made money? No, I always, uh, I don't, I don't get that question anymore, but I used to, before I started having a lot of success, people would say, well, well, have, have, have you made any money yet? <laughs> Has anybody made any money yet? Yes. My sponsor is well over six figures in the last three and a half months. I am almost at six figures in the same period of time. I had almost a $10,000 day yesterday. As a disclaimer, that's not a guarantee. That's what you can do or what you're going to do. It is what you can do if you put in the work. My sponsor and I operate by a philosophy of performance. We don't talk the talk. We do the work. 
And if you do the work, you get paid. If you sell the product, you get paid. This is not one of those things that you're investing money to have some magical bot do automatic trading for you for 2 to 3% a day. They lock up your money for a year and you can't touch it. And then they go out of business. They get a scam or they get shut down. This isn't one of those things. We actually sell a product. So we're in pre-launch. Our product has not launched yet. We're in pre-launch. We're launching in phases starting with next month on the actually able to walk around the gaming world. But you can make money on the, on the networking side. We have a velocity bonus, star bonus, matching bonus, ascension pool bonus, a horizon bonus. With our velocity bonus, I have a couple of the rules that I learned in the crypto space. My rule number two is never use money you cannot afford to lose. So if you can't afford to do the Stargate pack, don't do it. Oh, but I don't want to miss out, Brandon. Don't do it. If you can't afford it, you can earn your way there. How do you think I'm buying all of my Stargate packs? I'm not coming out of pocket. I go to work, the money I make, I take that money, and I'm not going buying Jordans. I'm, I'm putting it back in, in, in future investments and assets. So do not use money you cannot afford to lose. But then rule number three, always get your money back as fast as possible. Why? Because most people have a fear that they're going to get scammed and they're going to lose all their money because it happened to them in the past. And people want to guarantee, Brittany, can you guarantee me that I'm going to make money in this company? No, I cannot guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that if you perform, you will make money, but I can't guarantee that the company is going to guarantee to have success in five years. I can't guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that the opportunity is there. They're the first to bring this technology to market. They've been working on this for years. There's a whole lot of money been invested behind the project. So the company has in place that if you sign up and you choose a pack, Within 14 days, if you sell the same pack you have, four of them, they're going to give you your money back. Now you've eliminated your risk. So even if things don't go as planned, you can't say, I lost all my money. At least you made your money back. So if you get the solar pack, now this is not for the Stargate pack. This is the moon, planet, and solar pack. If you sell four solar packs in those 14 days, you will make your $1,000 back. What if you only sell three solar packs and one planet pack for $400? Do you still get $1,000? No, you'll get $400. What if you sold three solar packs and one moon pack? Do you get $400? No, you get $100. It's got to be the same pack that you have. Oh, is context. Wait, oh, I thought I had everybody muted. What the? What? Oh. Hold on a second. There we go. Then we have the star bonus. This is for those of you, and this is optional, not mandatory. You don't have to do this to make money with Envara. But if you want to, here's a good way to make money that you can use to purchase assets. You have two teams, one on your left and one on your right. So you do two sales. They're going to fall on your left side and your right side. You get paid on a one-to-one -one ratio. Each pack that you sell has star points attached to it. So the moon pack for 100 has 60 star points. So when you add that up, that's 120 points. The company is going to pay out $10, uh, $1 for every 10 points. So you just made $12. But what happens if you have more than two sales? I'm over 60 by myself. The third person and beyond is going to fall under the next available position on your team, your left or your right, thus creating spillover for anybody above. Those of you who answered the call Back in January and February, when we were talking about this, timing and positioning is everything. You are in such a blessed position, you don't even realize it yet. Even if you think you do, you don't, because we're only four or five months in. Wait a year from now <laughs> what you're going to be sitting on. But that's a blessing. Spill over, and I want to say this now for all of you guys, is not, is not a, a, a right. OK, it is a luxury in my career. It has been rare that I have ever had spillover. 
As a leader, I provide spillover for my organization, not the other way around. I don't depend on spillover from my upline. If it happens, it's a blessing. I thank them, but I'm going to work. Why? Because the people who provide spillover make the most money. So if you have it in your brain right now, oh, I'm waiting for spillover from my upline, I'm telling you now you're going to be limiting how much money you're going to make. If your focus is on, I'm going to provide spillover for my organization, you're going to make the most money. How did I make so much money the way I'm doing it? Because I'm providing the spillover and I'm building both legs, not just one. I've enrolled more than 60. 24 is on my, my left. 43 or something is on my right. I build both, not just one, and rely on spillover. But We've all experienced where you have one leg that grows faster than the other, bigger than the other, and you'll never catch up to that. So in a traditional binary, you would never get paid on any of that volume unless you build the other side to catch up to it, which you'll never do. So what Barra said was, we're going to pay you on a one to two ratio if that happens. So if you have more members joining faster now you're going to get paid on a one to two ratio, $18 on this, this instead of just 12. Regular, regular binary, you make $12 in this scenario. VARA, you make 18. Then we have our VARA ranks. And I think after this week, we're going to have a lot of people uh, that, that's gotten ranked up and promoted. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens on our Sunday call on Sunday when we do recognition. But based on the volume on your lesser leg, you can get promoted all the way from trainee all the way to chancellor. I set this Monday, I'm putting a challenge out to all of our great leaders in South Africa and Nigeria, Kenya and the others. Who is going to be the very first on the entire continent to hit the position of captain? I know we just promoted a lieutenant commander. Who's going to be the first to hit captain? Talk about talk about bragging rights. Will it be somebody from South Africa? Or will it be somebody from Nigeria? Who's the first? That means you have to have 50,000 points on your weaker leg. 50,000 points. So we just promoted a commander, a lieutenant commander earlier this week with 10,000 points in his weaker leg. I think he's on here right now, too. Then we've got vice admiral, admiral, senator, uh, chancellor. We don't have a senator or a chancellor yet. We're still so new. But my sponsor just two weeks ago got promoted to admiral of the fleet. My goal is to hit vice admiral before Sunday, before our next training call. I'm getting close to there. I'm a commodore right now. We have members that hit captain, like Don Marie. She's a captain. Herschel Crow is a Commodore. Who else just hit? Bitcoin Mike just hit Commodore. Congratulations to Mike. Yeah, he hit that this week. So we have a brand new Commodore. And I think if you if you go into the, the portal, you can actually take a look at all of the leaders, the top 100 leaders within Vara. And you, you're not going to see their, you're only going to see their, their user usernames. So as you see there, you got Abundance, number one, Genesis, that's his sponsor, number two, and then me. I'm number three right there. And then you can see everybody else all the way scrolling through here. You want to be on the leaderboard. The whole world is able to see you there. So I'm looking at this. I think we're only uh, from the Commodore ranking up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only eight. Eight Commodores and up. I see I see Mandela Quest is getting there, rank number 11. All right. I want to see you guys on the, on the leaderboards. Okay. Then we have matching bonus. This is where you're going to end up making a lot of money too. This is why I said if you provide spillover, you make a lot more matching bonus money. How would you like to earn 10% check match on everybody that you personally share this with? How would you like to earn another 10% check match on the people they share it with? And another 10% on the people they share with, five levels deep. What if you had one person that you shared this with 
that made $10,000. What would you make? $1,000. My sponsor, Peter, is getting a 10% check match just on me. So, so far, let me see. I don't, I don't know this number yet. Wait. This month, I'm at 26,600 as a disclaimer. That's just what I did from the work, okay? That's not a guarantee. But Peter's getting a 10% check match on that. What if Peter had 10 of me? You know, my goal before the month is out to reach at least $30,000 this month. Got until the first. That's my goal. I got another 4,000 to go. Peter gets a 10% check match. That's like $3,000. What if you had 50 people doing that? Provide spillover for your organization. Now, uh, and I got to say another thing too. If you just got started, your sponsor's already sponsored 60 people. Don't expect your sponsor that has to go out and get another 60 people just so that you can have spillover. <laughs> All right? Be mindful of that. You know, any spillover is a blessing. But I try to provide that for, for our organization. Then we have another way to get paid, the Ascension Pools. A percentage of Vara's profits from the product sales are allocated to this bonus. So which means is you're going to get paid on not just your own organization, but how about everybody in the company? Once you reach the rank of lieutenant, that's when you have 5,000 points on your inside leg. You're now in the Nova Pool. Everybody in the Nova Pool will be splitting a percentage. You reach the rank of commander. This is where Miss Casa is this close to. Not only will she, she's already in the Nova Pool, but she'll also be in the Aurora Pool as well, splitting that percentage, both pools. We only have one person in the Nebula Pool, my sponsor, one person. And then we have the Galaxy Pool. Nobody's in that pool yet. So when we first saw this, we said, you know, we need to rank up as fast as possible to get into these pools as fast as possible. We believe in passive income, you know, the residual form of it. There's also other bonuses for you getting promoted. People think, do we get cash for, for bonuses? No, you get drop bonuses, drop box bonuses. And you might say, I don't understand. What is this? Well, the items in these, these drop boxes, these loot boxes, are rare items inside of the gaming world. They're rare items in that world. That means that players that are uh, finishing missions or they're grinding or they're doing stuff, their reward is special drops. But some of these drops only happen one out of every 30,000. So you being a VAR ambassador is getting rare items that you can then can go and sell on the open market. When we look at other games in the metaverse that, that has this, their, their products that they sell can go anywhere between 500 to a million dollars that people are spending in these worlds for these items. Because these items are NFTs that you're getting a hold of. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to get plugged in. And also, I want to, let me state this. Because this question was asked, and I want to state it publicly. You know, there's two companies here. You have Star Vara, which is the product. And then you have Vara, which is brand new, the marketing arm. Vara is what's paying out these commissions on this side. But you're also going to get paid from the Star Vara side playing the game and also purchasing the access keys. So... How is VARA able to pay out the type of money that is paying out up to 80%? Wouldn't they be going out of business? See, in traditional networking, if you're paying out more than 45, 50%, you're a little bit in trouble. You're in trouble a little bit. 80%, that's because Star VARA is not making their money off of us going out there to recruit people. See, most network marketing companies, what happens when the recruiting stops? The business stops. The company goes out of business. You got to keep recruiting the world to operate. And eventually, there's no more people to recruit. That's not what's happening here. 
The majority of the money that this company is going to be making is the same reason why Fortnite's making their money, while Roblox is making their money. They're making billions of dollars of people playing the game and buying the products. That's where they're making their money. That's what separates us from any other networking thing in crypto that's out there. Now, getting plugged in, you got to get plugged in. You're in business for yourself and not by yourself. We have Telegram and Facebook groups that you can get plugged into. We have a corporate YouTube channel where you can see a lot of videos from corporate. Websites that you want to know is Starvara.com. Click on when I got started, how I learned before calling my sponsor and asking a million questions. I clicked on everything to get myself familiar with what's going on. Our ambassador portal is app.vara.gg. And then the company has a, a support website that you want to utilize. Again, if you're brand new, before you contact your sponsor, your sponsor's not the expert. They just got started a day or a week before you did. Utilize the customer support website that has FAQs. So every question you think you have, somebody's already asked. And there's answers for it. We also have support email that they are very active to help you get all your questions answered. We even have a Vara Hub Facebook group and a Dark Fusion Facebook page that you can plug into. They're always doing giveaways. They're giving away PlayStations and they're giving away access keys. Even in the M Ambassador Portal, there's a tab called Giveaways that you can see right here. So if I scroll down, you can see all the, oh, here we go, yeah. You can see all the different giveaways and things that you can be a part of. They're gamifying the entire experience. Who is that? Here comes Captain America. Who's Captain America? <laughs> John says, here comes Captain America. Okay, I don't know what that means. Anyways, the next is meeting schedule. In a meeting schedule, we have uh, presentations. Now, as another disclaimer, I am not hired by corporate. I am not part of corporate staff of VARA. I am not a higher consultant for VARA. We don't have any arrangements. I was not given a special leg. I wasn't given a ghost leg. And for those, I know Don asked that question, what is a ghost leg? You know, you know where a company will create a position in between positions that's already there and give it to a leader that didn't have to do the work. Or just give a leader volume in one leg that is, there's no there's actually nobody there. So all that leader has to do is build one leg. We don't do that over here. There are no deals. There are no signing bonuses. It is you come in and you work hard. You do the work, you benefit. So I am you. The only difference is I got started before you and I put in a lot of work. And I decided to not just wait for corporate to do presentations. I decided to do them myself. There's nothing stopping you from doing the same thing. In fact, I'm looking for other leaders all around the world, especially if you're in a different country. You know, the people who also make a lot of money are those who can do presentations. You want to be the first to start doing presentations in your country. So I have a schedule where right now, every Wednesday is our international presentation at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's 7 p.m. Nigerian time. Every Thursday night, I have it for the U.S. market at 9 p.m. Eastern. Every Sunday, I have a, a Sunday presentation and team call at 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, oh, Stu's asking, well, am I not doing them on Monday? I did do one on this past Monday as a special request because we had new leaders that came on board in South Africa and in Nigeria. For me to keep doing it, okay, because, again, my time is valuable as well. I have a business to run. For me to keep doing it on Monday and make it permanent, that's going to depend on you guys. How many people will you put in that presentation? Right now, we should have hundreds on this presentation right now. So if we are only having 20 or 30, then I'm not going to do it on Monday. If we can get it 50 and above, then I will do it and I will add it into my, my daily routine. You know, I, I I retired. I'm not trying to work hard unless it's, it's, it's got to be worth it. So let me know this Monday. If you want me to do the international presentation again, I need to know you guys are going to actually take advantage of it and put people in, in for me to do that. So let me know by, by Saturday. 
uh, Peter will let me know and some of the other leaders, then I will I will do Monday again and I'll make it permanent. Uh, and the and the presentation link is always the same. So it's the same one that you're on right now. So you don't have to go back to uh who what's what's the link to the next presentation? You're on it right now. This is your business. Copy the link, put it in a folder somewhere that you can always pull it up. So you're not asking in Telegram if what's the link? It's always going to be liveonedream.com too. I have it mass forwarded. All right, that is it for fast start training. I forgot Monday to play the video of uh, Mr. Rob Hersoff, co-founder of Vara and the main main investor behind this project. He's a billionaire out of South Africa. You can look him up. So I forgot to play the video Monday. I will play it today. But what you want to do is get back to the person who invited you, get you signed up and ready to go. I can't stress timing is everything because if you don't sign up, somebody else will, and they may end up being a superstar that could have been in your organization falling below you. I look at my, my report right now, and I still see people that they have no idea who's below them, but at least they were smart enough to get signed up early. They don't even know what's going on, <laughs> but they got in early. So with that, we will do recognition for our new members and promotions on Sunday night. Thank you guys for being here today. Here's the video of co-founder, Mr. Rob Hersoff. My name is Brandon Ivey, and I will see you all tomorrow night. Those of you who want to hop on that presentation at 8, I'm sorry, 9 p.m. Eastern tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific for Thursday night. Bitcoin Brandon out. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Rob Hersov, 62 years old. I'm actually 63 later this year. And I am chairman and uh, an investor with Greg Stevens and the team in Vara. And I'm very excited about Vara. I have a background in media, technology, sport, finance, aviation. And even though I'm South African and currently living in Cape Town, I spent 31 years of my life overseas. Six years in the States, 25 years in Europe and the UK. And I've done many things in the broader TMT media tech sector, but uh, I guess it all started off after Harvard Business School. I worked as Rupert Murdoch's right-hand man in New York at News Corp. And that was an extraordinary experience in itself. I also set up Morgan Stanley's media investment banking team in London and realized pretty quickly I was never going to be the best investment banker in the world. But I found out before they did <laughs> and moved on and got involved with an extraordinary South African entrepreneur and businessman called Johan Rupert, where for eight years helped him build the third largest pay television business in Europe. And in the pay television business, we were in subscription television we were early stages in multi-channel television and I was with that organization at right at the beginning of the internet. And Chris Becker, who discovered um, Tencent, an extraordinary, another South African extraordinary entrepreneur, was talking about the future of digital technology and the internet in those days. So that ages me a little bit. Um, I set up what became Europe's largest sports media internet business called Sportal which failed, my big business failure in life, but you learn quite a lot through failure. And then, since then, I've been involved in a whole lot of other industries. But Greg and I met each other about six years ago. And Greg Stevens' grandfather, Gavin Relly, and my father were very best friends. Gavin Relly ran one of the biggest mining industrial companies in Africa, as did my father. And even though they competed, they actually were very, very close friends. So I've known Greg and his family for three generations. And Greg and I served on a board of a public company in Australia together. We've done a lot of initiatives together, become great friends, trusted, trusted friends. And uh, when he told me about his vision for Vara and its original guys and its original concept, I said, I'm in, I'm with you all the way. And so I've co-invested with Greg. I'm there as a friend, advisor, chairman, and I believe that this is the opportunity of my lifetime and hopefully of yours too. So it's the big one. I'm, I'm, I wish I could be more actively involved, but I've got other businesses that I have to worry about. But Greg, Dom, Nick, and the team, you can't get a better team than this. And I really am a believer. And I'm happy to keep writing checks, keep investing, and keep getting involved 
as required to make this the success that you, I, Greg and the team want it to be and it deserves to be.